there's no real statistics in South Africa. But what we have on paper is that every year 3,500 babies get abandoned. One out of three babies found abandoned are found alive. Many babies are never found. The ones who are found may most of the time are found dead. It is a problem that we have in our society, young mothers, mothers who are not financially ready or not able to take care of their children. They, they look for, for a place to, to leave the baby, so you would find them in landfills, in trash cans, in storm drains, toilets, leave them in the hospital once they give, give birth. I'm Adele Modo, the manager for Kangaroo Institute for the Disabled. So today's event was a big awareness to open up the Baby Saver here at Kangaroo Institute for the Disabled. Baby Saver is basically a safe place where mommies can leave their children when they have made the decision to, to abandon or they're not able to take care of their, their children. So it is a box in a wall that has security on the inside, security beams and cameras. As soon as the mom places the baby inside the box, the alarm goes off inside our home, then the care workers goes out and then they take the baby in and care for the child. In Pilo, which is a social worker organization, they will come in and take the child from us, do all of the registrations and then look for placement for this babies for in, um, adoptions and foster care. And then how do you, how do you get notified? Uh, <laughs> There's cameras and alarms. Yes. So, so what happens is that as soon as the mommy places the baby, she opens the door, uh, she places the baby. So the baby will then be on a pressure plate. This pressure plate activates the magnet so the door can't open again from the outside. After a minute and a half, the alarm goes off on the inside of the house, alerting my care workers and nurses that there is a baby in the baby saver. They would then come out and they would take the baby into the baby room and then do all of the, the assessments and everything. So it takes between a minute and a half and five minutes. There's no way that someone can just randomly walk past and open and take the baby that was placed just now. And then once the door closes, it's, it's yes. locked? Yeah, it's locked. After five minutes, it opens again. Hmm. So within five minutes, I mean, after a minute and a half, when the alarm screams in the house, a everyone runs out. <laughs> yes. In terms so of inside in the the baby saver in the box, um, it is there's a camera inside just facing the baby. There's also security beams on the side. That is what triggers then. Us. So if the arms goes in, then the the alarm the it triggers the, the security system, and then there's also alarm on the inside on our premises side to also just give me the see what care worker is taking the child so that we can start the, the paperwork. And there's people on the property 24, 24, 24 7? 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days. It's a residential care centre for disabled children so there's always someone here. Yeah. In terms of capacity, uh, how many can you take? Okay. Um, so what's going to happen is that's the reason why we partnered with Impilo that we are licensed by the Department of Health. We take children only with disabilities. So the children that come through the baby saver will be an abled or a disabled child. We will just care for the baby within 24 hours. Impilo will then come. They would take the baby from us and then they would do all the logistics, uh, the registration and the birth certificate and statutory. the clinic hearts, the statutory mm. things. Okay and they would then look for placement for the baby in all of the other abandoned baby homes. Today will be our launch uh, of the Baby Saver. Everything is ready, we have the room ready, our nurses are trained to take the babies in, what they need to do, the photos and the paperwork, and with all of the, the newspaper articles and our videos that will go out, it will be a full launch from today on. The other thing, if you go to a huge dumping site and talk to those guys who are looking for teens and so mm -hmm. on, what they always find. There's a baby just born, who died, and you know, and we, we, we just believe if you save a baby for life, mm -hmm. then a okay. lot mm -hmm. will be saved. But it's amazing, you know, when, as I said to the dumpy side, that's where it really strikes me. Mm -hmm. And those guys who say, oh, you don't know what we find apart from the rabbits we are picking up. It's 
not I've been to some of these cases myself because like the Tebuchil was saying the landfill site fall under my department and even in the within the different communities we live in they will call you and say hey we found this and when you get there some of the incidents that have been the doctors or whatever would tell you that had we found the baby a few minutes earlier they would have been alive mm. so it's this is amazingly a, a project that if possible we uh, rotate and put in all the other wards we have you know mm. so that it is an assistance i know somebody might say we are enabling it but then whether we like it or not it is happening mm. so this is just a way of say save a life give the child an opportunity to live and you know deep down that as much as maybe you are not ready for motherhood but you gave the child a chance to life that's all it means no, it, they, they isn't a wrong or a right way out of this it's just basically saving a life it is a really big societal problem with the baby saver you just give the parents then if they have made that difficult decision already to abandon their child just a safer option to choose life and not leave the baby somewhere where no one will find them where the baby will most probably die